What should you do if you become homeless? First place to go is housing. Then um, ask them, you must ask them of any places where you can get food, uh, sleeping bags, you know, because they do give clothing, clean clothing, you know, and they do do washing and all for you. So, you know, just go to local housing as soon as you get there. What you should do is, there's a couple of things. One, never be on the street on your own because you can get attacked. Two, find local, like um, Salvation Army, First Base, um, healthcare and, that, and they will help and they will send you where. The first thing that you should really do is after you sorted your own head out, is seek help. But my, my problem was I didn't seek no help. Um, I was, because I had everything, I lost everything, I was too ashamed to, to ask for help of people, you know. Even when people offered me help, um, even though I took it, I still felt, felt horrible for taking it, you know. I felt demeaned, if you know what I mean. But the first thing you should do really is, is seek help, you know, um, go and get a support worker that I can uh, help on your behalf. Because rather than you going into the council, going, you know, being in the mood and all upset and emotional because you're homeless, get someone in that can talk for you, you know, and it, but that helps a hell of a lot, to be honest with you, having somebody, you know, that, like a support worker, because then it shows that somebody cares, you know. But yeah, that's, I think that's the best thing to do. The, the, the best thing I always say to, well, I mean, someone who's homeless is you go to the council because the council will have uh, information details about what you're entitled to and what you can do. I also, I mean it's been old-fashioned but I'd always go to the Salvation Army in every town. We've got a very very good one in Eastbourne. I work very closely with Pauline and the gang uh, and they've got a very good support network. If there's a, an active MP, go to the MP, they'll have details. But I suppose the first step is actually go to the council because the council will have leaflets that tell you what your rights are and they have a duty to house you. Well, you should sort of register with the council, but unless you're in a certain situation, they'll ignore you. I mean, like, like there's support if you're a refugee, or if you're on the sick, you know, if you're disabled. There's all, all these boxes you've got a sick, but if you're a young, fit male, nobody will help you, nobody will touch you, you know, so. It all depends on, on, on your personal situation, everybody's different. But for, from my point of view, that, there was no help out there for me. What's it like to be homeless? I've been homeless on and off for about two years. Um, I did four months on the streets in the doorway in Hastings. I'll tell you what, that gets hardcore. Three o'clock in the morning, when the wind's howling and the rain's coming down on the seafront, oh, that gets hardcore, all right. Luckily, I got myself an army sleeping bag. Then I did three months in a van, and then a year in a caravan, but the council towed it away, this is in Hastings. Um, and then back on the streets for about the last four months. Something I've come to notice about being homeless. The homeless get blamed. And it's actually homelessness that's the problem. The Tories and austerity, you've gone too far. You know, everyone, everyone you know, just because you're homeless, you, you can't stereotype a homeless person. You know, some, some people sit and drink, some people take drugs, some people don't. You know, everybody's different, so... Well, day in the life is just like, um, you get up in the mornings, you, as I said, you go to first base, and after that, you know, um, you toddle off to St Anne's, or you 
go look in shops or just sit on benches in parks, you know, and, you know, just boil away the time, you know. Also, uh, you get caught in Bognor Regis, Chichester, Portsmouth, anywhere upwards, Manchester, Bolton, you will get arrested, uh, £80 fine and you're sent back on the streets again. So, so, so where, where's, where's the council on the right justice for what you're doing then to the homeless? Sweet. Also, in Brighton, uh, when there's like, it's a rough sleepers team, they come round in the mornings, yeah, and when they first see you, if you're sort of like new in town, a new face them, they don't know you, they'll offer you a ticket, a one-way ticket to go somewhere like, you know? And all that's doing is pushing the problem out of Brighton to, to somewhere else, like, you know? Get, get out of Brighton, but the home, move the home, you know, go somewhere else and we'll buy you a ticket. What they do is they boot you out of one town, so you move to another town. <laughs> then you boot you out on that one. And then you move to the next one. It's like a cycle. They're just kicking the problem around till they try and lose it. Problems, well, no, because it's Brighton, um, it's quite, it's quite, e it's quite easy and e easy going police. Oh, I mean, police. The police sort of like have their little purges, but um, tell the truth, they don't give you that much hassle. You know, like I just said, they have their little purges where they do, like, you know, sometimes they have like an operation and they'll send a plain clothes uh, cop a pasture and you might ask him for spare change and they're undercover police and then they come back and they'll arrest you for it. You know, take you to Hollingbury and then take you to, to court for it. I mean, that costs... I don't know, it's not in the hundreds, it's probably in the thousands. And even the magistrates are sort of like, what's the point in, in this, the guys on the streets? But they've done that, so that's the main problem. Sometimes you get a bit of verbal off people if they're drunk, you know, mainly if they're drunk in, in, in a group. But um, you come by experience, you know, how to avoid that trouble you know some people on the streets if, if they're drunk they start getting shouting and swearing at people and, and that's a track some people attract the tr trouble but if you if you keep it you know be polite to people then you know I've never been attacked on or nothing I've been spat at uh, once or twice maybe I think it was yeah been spat up, but I've never actually been physically attacked. I know people who have, I know people who have ended up in hospital, you know, and uh, there's a little spate um, about two years ago, a few people got, uh, is that West Street? Uh, not West, this West Street, uh, Western Road as well. They sleep in their sleeping bags and people that set fire to them, you know in his sleeping bag. One person got his leg really badly, quite badly burnt. Because these sleeping bags, they go up really quick, you know, because of what they're made, made of. And, you know, so I do know people who've been, like you said, yeah, that has happened to them. In 2017, verified by a GP who, who runs a clinic for homeless people, 19 people died on the streets of Brighton and Hove, which is, uh, uh, is, could be seen as a criminal act by not acting to prevent people sleeping rough, because nobody can stand for the temperatures which go below zero for a long time and their health deteriorates and all sorts of problems with their health create them into a position in which they just simply have to give up and die on the streets. Lots and lots of people since I've been in Brighton, I've, I've lost count really. In the last 18 months I've lost 
three really close people, you know, I was actually close to, like, deaths, and I know other people who, who you know, because we all sort of know each other on the streets, even if, you know, even if you just say hello to people, but yeah, lots of people have died in the last, especially in the last 18 months, a lot of people have died. A lot of people have died on this drug called Spice. It used to be illegal, uh, legal, like, you know, but now it's illegal, but a few people have died on that. Then obviously you get your heroin overdoses, people die off that. Then people just die through health issues, you know, like, general health issues, like, you know, heart, you know, the liver might uh, play up and, and that. So yeah, death, load, load, lots and lots of people. A week last Saturday, somebody died on the beach here. We don't know who at the moment. They couldn't identify them at first. 